This tutorial is about AutoConnect. AutoConnect is a feature in FastPipe, FastDuct, and FastWrap to help you with the takeoff of ducts and pipes automatically. If this box is checked on the takeoff screen, then AutoConnect has been enabled. In Preferences, if you'd like to uh, make the program default to AutoConnect being enabled, just click on the Preferences button, the AutoConnect tab, and make sure that the AutoConnect default box is checked. I'll begin with FastPipe, and I'll use the Quick Pick menu to do the takeoff. So if I select a 1 inch 90 and begin the takeoff, when I click on the 90, it not only adds the 90 to the takeoff list, but it also connects the pipe and adds the joints and the hangers if that's how you have your specs set up. So I'll go ahead and continue with the takeoff. Take off a reducing T to the water heater. I recommend uh, staying on the main until, the, until uh, you get to the end and then come back and take off the branches. I think AutoConnect works best that way. There's a reducing T here, and I'll change sizes to 3 quarter inch. Another T here, and a 90, which is an A if you use the hotkeys. And then at the rooftop unit, I can use an assembly for the gas drop. Back to the takeoff, I have a 90 at this makeup air unit and an assembly. Another rooftop unit. And an assembly. And then a water heater as well. The uh, AutoConnect can sometimes uh, give you trouble. The way AutoConnect works is it looks for the line on the page. So let me show on domestic water uh, some tips that might help you when the, the AutoConnect uh, doesn't work properly. So if I go to the Takeoff tab and uh, take off a uh, reducing T, you'll see that the AutoConnect will connect even though uh, I had uh, been away from this takeoff page for a while. I'll put in a riser for the wall hydrant. Now when I switch sizes to half inch, I'll go ahead and take this 90 off here. When I go to take off the 90 up here, sometimes it may want to connect to a different location. You can uh, turn the connection off by holding the control key and then mark the pipe and fill it in manually. I'll delete those two items because there's another option as well. If you click on a 90 and you have it lined up with a different location, if you hit the uh, Alt key, it will switch to a different location and the hint line will let you know that it will connect properly in that direction. Now let's take a look at the auto connect in fast duct. I'll take off some round duct work in fast duct using auto connect. Let me bring over the quick pick menu and I'll select a start collar and an end cap. Auto connect will work whether you have a single line or dual line drawing. I'll go ahead and change the size. I'll enter the conical saddle taps and choose the uh, size that they're tapping onto and mark them on the plan. I'll hold the control key so it doesn't collect, connect where I don't want it to. When I take off this 45 degree elbow, 
I want to mark that elbow so that it's in the center of the duct going in both directions so that when I mark the 90 it will line up with the elbow. I can mark these other elbows as well. Sometimes things may not connect. If that's the case you can just click on duct and connect them manually. You can also take off the vertical risers, enter the length, and mark them on the plan, and also the round diffusers. Now let's take a look at Auto Connect in Fast Wrap. In Fast Wrap, there's a start stop button for changing sizes because a lot of insulation estimators don't take off every fitting. So if I select the size inch and a half and the start stop button, I can place that start stop button on the plan. The start stop button works with any size, so when I switch to inch and a quarter, I can then take off the T at the end of the run. I can then take off a 90. Also, you can use the hotkeys, and the S for start stop is right next to the 90 on the keyboard, which makes it pretty easy. I can take off the inch and a quarter, change sizes, click on the A for the 90, and continue with the three quarter. So it's very quick to uh, take off the auto connect. I can take off this 90 here, click the S for start stop to get the branch piping back to the main. So I hope this video will help you use your auto connect more effectively in the future. Thank you.